Uh, good morning, this is uh, Ray Press for Reconda Fuerta newspaper here in San Jose downtown. We are in the fourth in Santa Clara Street. We are looking over there, the Twin Towers in the corner. Yeah, but the big sign next to it is, is going to be uh, uh, opening in, in eight, by next month in October the new Starbucks. Well, let's go back to uh, the recall elections. Uh, yeah. Governor Gavin Newsom is confronting today is uh, election day. Yeah. He has more than 61%, 61.3%. Yeah. In the uh, versus the 27 percent recallers, yeah. In the polls, you know, he is in good strength, yeah. He is, uh, uh, you know, uh, President Joe Biden, you know, made a stop, you know, on uh, yesterday in Sacramento, and uh, in order to support the, the recall election campaign for. Uh, Governor Gabby Newsom, yeah, he has uh, reached the climax of his administration, given the, um, uh, the most what he can do, yeah. But also the good news was uh, the last week uh, is uh, California is reaching the 80 billion dollars surplus before ending the fiscal year. Yeah, but also the good news was that all the, um, uh, the students, yeah, all the children, you know, who are in the, the schools, you know, they have a, a free lunch program uh, sponsored by the Governor of Gavin Newsom from California. Six million, two hundred thousand children, California children are enjoying that. It's a very extensive program for everyone, which is good. It's a lot of saving thing also. He's, uh, uh, fulfill his promise uh, for a governor race campaign to take care of the children of California since uh, childhood in education. $123 billion uh, for the next uh, decade uh, for the education, yeah, since uh, even from the preschool, yeah, even perhaps even one year previously, yeah, until college and university. It's a great, it's a great achievement. The two years of freshmen, free is our community college, and uh, uh, for all California states, a free tuition, great achievement. But also, uh, is the rate control, the five percent for all California. Yeah, many people don't know about it. Yes, so we have to have, you know, put in the scale. And the balance, what Governor Gavin Newsom has been done all this, and the success, yeah, the success of uh, uh, the COVID-19 general immunization, yeah, here in California, yeah, Governor Newsom is uh, doing a great job. The success is coming not only just for uh, a few months; it comes from for the whole pandemic. California in this in this time has more than 40 millions, uh, 49 million, 200,000, yeah, almost 50 million uh, doses given, and we are in 57.2 percent. Uh, in other words, it's 22 million, 600,000 Californians are fully vaccinated. Yeah, it's just a great achievement. It's more than 10 percent of um, uh, the United States general immunization. is more than. 178 million uh, Americans are fully vaccinated in the whole state, in the 50 states. Today is a great day. Uh, most of the people, yeah, be, believe so. Yeah, uh, talking with them, you know, Governor Gavin so have to keep going. Yeah, and uh, in Sacramento's office, in, in probably in the, in the next four years for the re-election. Yeah, uh, um, President Joe Biden, also the vice president, uh, the senior senator Kamala Harris was also giving a great support to the Gavin Newsom. Uh, that's all for today. And uh, it's coming up, yeah, the, the 10 years for La Contra Fuerta newspaper, two anniversary. And also in San Jose City College. 
Uh, they celebrate yesterday 100 years, the Jaguars. Go Jaguars! Yeah, go Jaguars. I was a former student over there and I'm very proud of it. Yeah, it has to be another 100 more years. Thank you very much. This is a reporting for La Recontra Fuerte newspaper, Ray J. Ray, San Jose, downtown California, United States. We had to talk to you about all the gas next time. Thank you.